Hi, today we're going to see how to do the dynamic filter and click. So let's just start with the problem. I will try to describe the problem first and then I'm going to see what exactly this thing is about. So for example, I have a year data in here. So currently my year is showing 2022. So normally this is a very typical challenge that we want that whenever a new year comes in, so it gets selected automatically rather than the people you know selecting them so i'm going to create a button here so this particular button uh, is what it's going to do it's going to select the uh, filter okay so let's do that and uh, the first thing is i'm going to select the year here this is the latest year and i'm going to do a bookmark create a bookmark year here and Now I'm going to clear the selection and if I click, oh, oh sorry, I have to change the settings for the button. I'm going to add an action and the action would be apply a bookmark and the bookmark would be here. And here we go. So if I click in here, so it this year gets selected. Okay. but what happens if I have the new data so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add I'm just going to change the script a little bit so I am you know adding the latest year is now going to be 2023 instead of 2022 and let's yeah okay got done and if I click in here, it's still 22. Now the latest year is 2023. So you might want to change it, a new app, uh, bookmark or, uh, you know, do that. So let's just keep this name, this button as for the more clarity. Let's just name that as current year. Okay, so, but it is not reflecting that. So how we can do that? So the way to do that is instead of using the simple selection here, what gonna do is we're gonna say that year is equal to, and just keep in mind that the filter this should be a very uh, field name, so it should be exactly matching to that. And then I'm gonna say that this is year function. Sorry, uh, max. And then this is field and if you see I have all the years so it's not working so what I can do is I can I'm going to put dollar sign expansion in here and yeah, here we go and now I'm going to sell so put enter so it's gonna come in here and now I'm what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna last year uh, max year I'm just putting that bookmark I'm creating that bookmark select okay and okay so let's just change it here as well so instead of this bookmark I'm gonna select this time max year and if I click max here, 2023 selected. Now I'm gonna change back to 2022 as a max here in the data. Okay, so now it has data has changed so if I click in here and the data is dynamically selected to 2022 because this is the latest year so now whenever the next year come 2022 4 come it will automatically be shifted to that and then there is another trick um, that you can do is that instead of selecting this you want that whenever a user log into this dashboard it automatically get this bookmark automatically get selected so what we can do is called default bookmark. So we can just right click on this bookmark and make it as 
default bookmark. So in this way, whenever a user open this particular application, it will always see the latest year. Thank you very much for watching. Stay tuned. Thank you.